All right, hello out there to all my Ultimate Stepmaster followers. Um, I know it's been a while since I've actually recorded anything, um, so I decided to put together a few videos for you. Um, you'll see those within the next few weeks. Um, I want to give some pointers. I know that the fall is going to be approaching and homecoming step shows are coming up, that type of thing. So I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted in this particular uh, video blog, I wanted to talk about some of the do's and don'ts of a step show. Just on planning and executing an actual step show. So first corner I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about not using random videos or slideshows or PowerPoints at the beginning of your show. Um, a lot of times I see teams, just because you have the capability of using a PowerPoint or video at the beginning of your step show, it doesn't mean you have to always do it. Um, I see a lot of teams that use videos just because they can, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the show. It doesn't add any value to the show. Um, and I think that's almost a killer. Um, you're starting your show off. This is the first thing people are going to see. And if it's not grabbing the audience attention or if it's not something interesting or funny or add some type of value to your show, um, it's usually a killer. So I just want you to be mindful of using random videos or random PowerPoints just because you can. Um, second point I want to make. Be mindful of your intro. Be mindful of the voiceovers for your intro, the music that you're using. Um, this is something that's going to pull the judges into your show more. So make sure that you have um, great music or make sure that your intro is energetic. Um, make sure it's just something interesting. That's a step show killer, a true step show killer is having a boring intro. So just be mindful of your intro. Um, my third pointer, do not walk on stage. And that has a lot to do with the intro as well. Um, just walking onto the stage as your intro, that, that's, a, that's a deal breaker. That's a, a step show killer, walking on stage. So whether you're strolling on, if you're flipping on, if you're diving on, if you're floating on to the stage, try to do something again that's going to grab the audience's attention. Please, even if you have music, if it's hype music, do not walk onto the stage. My fourth point, do not overpower your show with music. I want you to remember that it is a step show. And I know music is the new thing, but be mindful of that. Um, so many people use five or six songs throughout their show, and their show is only 10 minutes. And you may only have two or three steps. Be mindful of the amount of music that you use. Um, be strategic in the music that you use as well. Um, if it's something that is adding value to your show, yes, but do not overpower your show with music, okay? And uh, my next point I want to make, and this is my final point, make sure that your stepping intensity and your precision matches or exceeds the effort you put in your uniforms, your props, and any other theatrics. I've seen so many teams, they have awesome intros, they have awesome uniforms, they have the smoke, the lighting, and all of that. And when it's time for a step, it's weak. It's weak. So be sure that the effort you use to put into uniforms and building props and making props and building this whole scene on stage and all of these theatrics, the PowerPoints and movies and lights, be sure that you use that same intensity. That same willpower, that same determination, that same work ethic, and put it into your steps. Because at the end of the day, it is a step show. Okay? And be sure to like, comment on my videos, um, check out my Facebook, my Instagram page, um, and I'm out. Thank you for watching.